everybody, this is Nia Boaz Fala here, and I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between the 11th and the 18th of April 2020. We are at the first third of this year. Yes, it is passing. <laughs> so, oh, do you like my uh, Norwegian house shoes? How do you call them? Slippers? Whatever. Yeah. They weren't supposed to be on cam, but if they are, let's bring them out, pon-pons and all. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you're doing fine. I hope Corona is treating you well. I hope you haven't met at all. And I hope you're all healthy and shining. And if there's one thing I want you to remember from today's mini session or uh, video, is that the next few weeks in the next month and year but yes the next few weeks is a time that you need to be fearless that we all need to be fearless and that ferocity is just that ferocity is the ferocity of a knight marching uh, 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 or storming forward against the pending darkness because you have to understand it's going to be utopia or dystopia and as the great reverend once said all is needed for evil to prevail is for good people to do nothing this is the time that we need to rebuild a world in our image in the image of our hopes and dreams a communal world, a world in which the feminine energy is heightened in comparison to the patriarchal, hierarchical society of the past. And ne we need to withstand criticism and cynicism and frowning and be our own personal examples provide a personal example and seed and weed this seed and weed seed and weave weave not weed <laughs> seed and weave weeding live to others i don't want you to weed you could weed unwanted things or people out of your life the the old out of your life but weave new things in as well This is the time to be fearless. This is the time to understand that your courage is lit by a light that needs to unfold, that needs to give birth, that needs to be heard, that its time has come, that your time to shine has come, that our time to make a difference has come. And I don't care if you're 80 or 18. I don't care if you're from Somalia or Denmark. I don't care from which religion you came from. And I don't care what you believe in. As long as you believe in something, in a connection to this creation, to this everlasting web of life that you are now part of that we are all now part of as long as we are breathing what kind of organisms are we going to be at the end of the day how are we going to sum up this life when it comes to an end are we going to be proud of who we chose to be of our causes through our daily fears, anxieties, speculation, and, 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 and trepidation. Through that constant shivering, will we find a path that is like a samurai sword through water? And if you know how a sword runs through water, you know it wiggles. but it cuts.
and we'll need to withstand this wiggling until we can create a different atmosphere for the times they are changing and they will continue to change us astrologers speak about this transformative era this year 2020 as the great conjunction between Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter is in the sky and Pallas Athena is there too and this week the moon is going to be there too and the Sun is going to square it all a square 90, a 90 degree angle is a challenging angle it demands action and that call to action does not come out of ease it does not come of everything being okay and calm and harmonious on the contrary that need to get up and change and do what needs to be done personally to manifest it ourselves the sun is about manifestation personal manifestation the light coming out of us into this world living a, a resonance behind an echo of who we are and who we were throughout this beaming of energy of light who are we going to be so that essence both on a personal and a collective level is being called to action is being challenged by these very transformational uh, a stellium of planets the moon in charge of our personal emotional security and a feeling of home feeling of community and it's the ruler of the north node of the dragon's head right now which is in cancer and this is why this era is about leading into a more feminine motherly codependent caring belonging familial clannish kind of mindset so the moon is joining Saturn in charge of systems and laws and governments and people in power and Pluto which talks about political power and money and banking and economies and of course earthquakes and nat natural disasters as well and we have Jupiter there which is broadens everything and provides a sort of spiritual enlightenment provides a sort of wisdom that comes with all this transformation and drama and we have Pallas Athena the goddess of strategy a goddess that is known for wake-up calls and for doing the things that are needed to be done in order to conclude the situation in a just and ethical and moral way it is the protector of justice but a fierce hunter and it can demolish as well as it can build and when palace athena comes in stress comes in because action needs to be taken so think of all these planets that challenge our geopolitical systems our banking systems our economical systems and everything in our own life that we feel is structured <laughs> and stable and we look into the depth Pluto into the depth of our underworld to see the emotional lava that actually drives us from beneath thermal float that is perpetually warming up who we are and what we are and driving us forward providing our Mars the action the desire on the surface that comes from within dealing with our own shadows and demons what a time so the sun is squaring all that stellium over this week especially at the 15th it's going to be exact but we're going to feel throughout this week and next week this is a transformative important time throughout this year we could see things fall into place action being taken new challenges uh, uh, coming up and new things being found 
regarding malfunctions and things that have been, been remi re remain hidden until now. And with the quinconx, which is a Quranic quinconx, 150 degrees aspect to Saturn, which is in charge of, again, the system and governments and our old structures, both in our own lives, also in our own lives, coming up to the North Node in Cancer, if there are things in our own life or in our collective society, in our laws, and especially if there are leaders that have not, if we have not, and if others have not, you know, like leaders have not, been acting in ways that are in accordance with this feminine requirement of mothering and codependence and community and belonging, and understanding we are all one family, that this is all our home, that we need to downgrade, that we've been too ambitious. If there are things in our own lives, or in our society, in our structures, and if there are people in power who have not been acting, in this way, they are required to be left behind. We could see people going home, we could see people suffering politically, we can see people suffering publicly for the way they conducted their efforts or their lack of efforts, and we could feel that our own old structures need to be reformed and changed. And indeed, we are now all left with less, less leaders, less structure, less stability but that less is worth more it's healthier for us the 150 degree angle the queen kongs the quranic angle is about purification of karma understanding that there are things that were maybe even necessary for our building in the past for our maturation in the past but are no longer positive and beneficial for us and need to be left behind, cleansed out, bravely, fearlessly. At the same time that this is all happening in the sky, Mercury, the planet in charge of communication and ideas and thoughts and navigation and commerce, is standing in a T-square to the nodes, to the dragon's nodes, that's another 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle there, this is our challenging angles, this is a time of important decisions, of information that is going to be crucial for the next couple of uh, months, it is it's a strategical cross point of decision making and navigation. And since that Mercury is conjunct, the wounded healer Chiron, all our decisions, both personally and collectively, need to be addressed with full awareness of the wound we need to dress and address. The wound we are causing ourselves in the world, again Chiron, you know, and the wound we're causing the world itself and how to better heal it. Bravery again comes into scope because if we're not brave, if we do not understand that yes, we're suffering, but when these problems were created, we were less full of experience and knowledge and wisdom and lessons than we are today. And indeed, Yes, Georgia, we've now mastered the tools that we need to tend to this garden. And it is our person, personal responsibility to do so. Let's go down to the day, Sunday the 12th, Mercury square the true node. That's the Mercury um, decision time that I was talking about, we're going to feel it throughout the week though. And then on the 15th, Monday the 13th, 
not a bad day the morning eastern european time not a good time for communication later it's better tuesday is already and wednesday are both intense with this square sun square moon pluto jupiter saturn later on uh since this is an important time be really aware of your own shadows and demons anxieties obsessions acting out don't be too obsessed about things don't be dramatic you know let things slide let things slide uh, even if you see people act out let things slide that's my advice to you if you want to address it later calmly that's great because you could see suddenly things come out you know uh, Thursday however the 16th is already looking much better in the sky I mean the morning can still be tense with the moon conjunct uh, Mars so put the brakes a little bit on there people but Friday is nice I mean Saturn is Queen Kong's the true node in Cancer but Mercury on Saturday is already sextiling exactly Venus and Mars and we could feel that things are stepping faster forward and things are unleashing and progress is being made and the sky is clearing up and when the sun steps into Taurus from Sunday onwards a calmer pace is going to come for the next month and happy birthday Taurians I love you and it's it's much more of a sun it's much more of a time that calls us to enjoy enjoy the nature around us enjoy eating and drinking and being harmonious again and it's a much easier time than we passed in the last three months so these are good news and I remind you that I have a 40% off discount due to corona as a service for my community if you want to have readings courses or private lessons with me this is the time to do it because pretty soon the prices are going to go back up so if you want to invest in yourself or a loved one this is the time and of course you can contact me all the details are at the slide at the end thank you for watching and sharing these videos and being who you are because that's the only way we can make it by being who you are in a positive, modest, full of humility, but just manner, you are not only emancipating yourself, you're emancipating all of us. You're creating a more tolerant, advanced world around you. So, be fearless. Remember, it is up to us to make sure dystopia is not erected in our times. Thank you. This is Nia Boaz Feiler signing out. May we all live long and prosper.